Kihala Dosto and welcome to our Let's Play of Crusader Kings 2 The Rajas of India DLC. And let's fill you in since we've last uh, convened because I've done a little bit of uh, messing around here. So let's uh, go over uh, what's happened in the world. Is the Hab Habadi Empire is being slowly eaten away by the, the Persians and uh, right now they're at war with Pratihara. Uh, Pratihara is also at war with um, some peasant revolts here and also uh, Gurjat has managed to break hold or, or break free from the vile chains of their overlords and it looks like a lot of these Indian kingdoms are splitting apart which is good for me because I'm waiting for the opportunity to seize the rest of the Punjab um, we have continually married off our uh, lovely Raja and he keeps going through wives like people go through socks because they just keep spontaneously dying on him so first wife died at uh, age 17 uh, next one died at age 25 uh, and then the last one died, I think it was really young. Death at age 22. So now we've gotten another wife, age 28. And, uh, she is a princess of the Abbasidian Caliphate, or now our allies. I used to have, uh, the Persians as my allies as well, until, uh, their princess that was betrothed to, uh, my glorious, glorious leader died, mysteriously. So yeah. And then my brother decided that he was going to get uppity and declare a rebellion and try and seize control of my budding kingdom away from me. And he was crushed and now he's languishing in jail. And I'm not quite sure what to do with him. I kind of want to uh, free him and give him some actual territory and make him a friend again. But I don't even know if that's possible at this point. Who the hell knows? But uh, we have one big announcement for this Let's Play. And that is that we can become the king of the Punjab. Which is we can create a title and then claim it for ourselves. So this is very exciting. So that automatically uh, fulfills his ambition. And now he's wearing a sweet new hat. Because as soon as you're king, you need a sweet new hat. And, uh, yeah, he's created the title of King of the Punjab and claimed it for himself. Because he's a badass. And, uh, we've got numerous children that have been born to us now. Uh, we've got three daughters and one son. And he is currently my heir, my five-year-old heir. I'm really hoping that he makes it, because I don't want my brother to be the heir to the throne, who also has his own son, who could definitely be... An issue in the future so yeah I've been trying to hook him up with a third wife but apparently nobody wants to marry him anymore because his wife his wives keep mysteriously dying and hooray he's fulfilled his ambition hooray hooray now his new ambition is to be a stronger marshal So he's the Maharaja Amir of the Banu Sanu King Samu Sama Kingdom. And we can hold a tournament, but I don't want to lose that gold because gold has gotten me out of my ample stores of gold have gotten me out of some tight situations by calling uh, some mercenaries up to help me out in a pinch. So this guy's kingdom is just being slowly, slowly eroded and uh I've been nibbling away at it as much as I can. So I don't think we've actually taken that much new territory besides uh, this here. I'm waiting for the opportunity for uh, war, some really serious wars to break out for Pratihara that I can stab him in the back. And uh, hopefully some of my, my the Abyssinian Caliphate will help me out. Because I've been sending troops to fight his wars for him. So I send, uh, I send him men across uh, the desert. And help him out. Alright, anyway.
But I'm running out of vassals, I feel like. Anyway. So let's see if we can see kind of... Oh, we can see the whole world and everything that's happening. Oh, no. Grigiri is afraid of the dark. Ridicule and tell her she's a horrible human being. One of our three options will happen. Okay, those all sound like terrible options, so I definitely shouldn't ridicule her. Okay, that sounds like the best. She's become trusting. This may not be the most beneficial. Well, why the hell not? Alright, so it looks like uh, shit's breaking down in Charlemagne's old neck of the woods. Because uh, West France has decided to be an open rebellion. Over in England, we still have no unity at all. Up there. Yeah, we're not really getting anything in terms of unity at all. All the giant empires, well, I guess there's the Byzantine Empire, and Bulgaria is apparently a large, badass empire. These people I still haven't chosen. Sure. So yeah, I need to take care, take over some kingdoms and expand my domain. Oh, look at this. Another crazy revolt. But I don't think it's big enough. I wonder if we can send, like, a scout. So let's see if I want to raise an army. How big an army could I raise at this point in time? It says about 3,000. I should probably make this, va this vassal not hate me so much. So yeah, about 3,000. It's, you know, a decent sized army. send the king's army out across the lands to see what kind of trouble is brewing over in our eastern neighbors I'm waiting for the chance to wow this is like the they, how are they going to defend these at all but I'm, I'm waiting for the chance to pretty much stuff, snuff out the Hardy, Habadi Empire. Even though they were really nice to me and helped me out in a lot of critical situations. Alright, my wife is pregnant again. You can't really tell, like, who's who, like, which wife my children belong to. It's a complicated situation. So... Honestly, it doesn't look like it's that much. Yeah, I'm thinking I could risk it. I think I can ta roll them, dice them, and maybe come out on top. Oh no! I think that was probably my mother. It just died. Yeah, it was. Well, need a new spy master, and it looks like my wife will be said spy master. You can scheme all you want, lady. Oops, I haven't even been deploying most of my troops around.
I'm gonna try my best to spread the Muslim religion around when I can. I don't know if I really want to risk it yet. <sighs> oh, he's fighting. Okay. No, I definitely want to risk it. Yay, another son. At least I've got a backup now. <sighs> Crap. Hold on a second. Alright, guys. Sorry about that. Um, just had to make a... I made a call to a lady on an internet lead. Um, so, no rest. It seems like... However, she's coming in tomorrow, so my boss will be happy about that. And I have decided to go uh, against going to war for now, mainly because my strongest ally, the Abyssinia Caliphate, is now fighting a war on two fronts. He is fighting uh, these guys in Egypt. Nope, oh, look at that. There he is. I accept your call to war. Alright, well, let's hope for the best here. The mighty Punjab armies. Huge battle. Huge battle going on here. I don't know who's going to win. Oh, it looks like our guys are not going to win. We have to defend our allies. God, they lost again? Do you guys know anything about concentrating your forces? Jesus Christ. Jesus, Jesus. Yeah, well, we may as well watch our men to where they need to be. Uh, just raising another army. He's just got to smash that one Egyptian army, and if he can do it, then it'll be okay. Oh, man. And just like... Oh, God, no. I'm going to miss my chance. God damn you. But I, I don't know if I can even win without the the caliph on my side, the caliph. Nope, looks like uh, the Hashmid, Hashmid are now fighting. I heard they fighting. Oh, good. They're fighting the Egyptians. So, he's getting southern reinforcements. Or 
What I really need to get this guy to do is either join me. Or get him to rebel against his king. That would be what I'm talking about. Alright, never mind. It looks like the Caleb's gonna be okay after all. Caleb gonna be A okay. As they have defeated. Oh no, another Egyptian army is coming up. God, they got a fuck ton of them. Never mind, the Caleb's not gonna be okay. His Hashmid reinforcements have been defeated. Oh my god! Run you bastards, run! A weak came can be can be placed. Oh good, my wife is pregnant. I can came Charlotte, whatever that is. I think Armo might fancy me. I don't know. Make a move. Why not? It's good to be the Maharaja. Welp, these guys came in and fucked me up. Okay, well, they put down their rebellion. Oh my god, they're just crushing me. Oh, I just obliterated my armies. Right now, that this guy has decided that he's gonna be that he's gonna declare independence. Now this is not looking good. Oh my God, is that working now? Okay. Well, it looks like they were able to force back the Egyptians and the Hashmid are on the march again. Since how many troops can I raise? I can't have that many troops I can raise. All right, another son. You cannot stop me now. God, I'm not in the best position in this game at all. I'm wedged in between plenty of really powerful empires.
think you can run, but you can't hide. Oh no, we're gonna arrive on the same day. Run. Looks like the Shah is gonna be all right, or the Caliph, I mean. And now there's uprisings in Egypt. They're definitely going to. Who declared war on who, by the way? When it comes to the Egypt question. Oh, they did. And declared a holy war. like the Persians were able to march through the mountains. They lost a lot of men and that in their wake. And they also are facing uprisings in their own territory. And the northern Samids are invading as well. I don't even know what I did. Probably wasn't important though. I have another Shah's like giant 10,000 man army. Why do I keep calling him the Shah? So it's always good to see this. You're in three wars, and all of them are in the green. Well, it looks like this guy's fighting a war of reunification. This kingdom is. And holy shit. This southern empire just erupted. into complete and utter chaos. That's what I need the North to do. So I can finally re reunify, my, uh, reunify my lands. Come on. Just break. Just break. Thank you. Uh, so you guys are done. So what should I do with this guy? I got a lot of prisoners. I should probably release some of them. I should ransom this prisoner. Sure. Put some money there. Ransom this old lady, because I know he really wants to have that old lady back. I'll ransom you. Paid my own ransom, okay? Great, now he likes me a little bit. I can't really do much yet. Where the hell is the Shah's army? Or Caleb's. Oh, there, there it is. Chasing around some of these Persians. So 
So how soon is my family going to become of age? My daughter will soon be of age. My son is getting there. Looks like we finally found a wife to last. That is not inexplicably dying. So that is always definitely nice. When your wife doesn't die for seemingly no reason. What the hell? When did this happen? Oh, because they lost control of an area. Well... I'm sorry, I don't think I really need to send my armies to Egypt. Oh no. Alright, second wife. Okay, now I can arrange. I want to get a political marriage with the. Well, I'll take a political marriage with these guys. With the Samnids. Does this guy have any allies? Oh, he has the Caliph. As an ally. That's no good. I'm gonna release my brother from prison. Because I am such a nice guy. Look 